seven smart moves every 20-something should make. Adulting isn't one of the easiest phases of life, and going through the transition in your 20s can be a little challenging. It becomes even much more difficult if you find yourself making wrong moves and choices. According to Roy T. Bennett, an American writer, maturity is when you stop complaining and making excuses and start making changes. The truth is that if you make some of the best decisions of your life as early as your 20s, you'll always be grateful you did. That way, your success will be guaranteed. So, in this video, I'll share with you seven smart moves every 20-something should make. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Find your path Do you know what you want? Where you want to be in some months, years to come? Do you even know your values? It's easier to start a journey as soon as you know your destination and it's faster to get to your destination only if you know where you are headed in the first place. It might take a while to figure out at first, but don't be in a hurry to start just anything until you have decided that is what you want. Finding your path might be difficult because it is a road that you have never walked, but it is important if you want to be successful. Joseph Campbell, an American professor of literature, said, if the path before you is clear, you're probably on someone else's. The thing about finding your path is that it is a lot of discovery. Discovering what is unique to you because that's the only way you can achieve what you want. Look at it this way. Say you want to become a professional dressmaker. Well, I'm pretty sure that you know there are a thousand and one other dressmakers in the world. So why should anyone choose you over the others? What's so unique about you that reflects in your design and brand overall? If you can find that out, then that's your path. 2. Create a solid financial plan The same way you have a career goal that you want to achieve, you should also create a solid financial goal. What is your plan for your finance? Hoping that if you work hard enough, you will become rich is such a bad plan. You have to be strategic about your plans, know exactly what you want and then identify the steps you need to take to get there. Your financial plan should include everything from buying a home to retirement. Of course, it should be flexible to accommodate certain changes as you grow and take on more responsibilities like starting your own family. Manoj Arora, an Indian author, said, Long-term thinking and planning enhances short-term decision-making. Make sure you have a plan of your life in your hand, and that includes the financial plan and your mission. 3. Start investing in yourself When was the last time you learnt something new outside the four walls of a school? When last did you pick up a book or any other informative material, listen to an educative podcast or any other such activity? Even if you are now out of school, don't stop learning. Keep developing yourself. Learn a new skill that will be instrumental to your success. Learn more about your career and the professional jargon in your field. 4. Start saving We get it. You're hardly making enough money to feed, transport, sort out other daily living expenses, so perhaps saving can wait until you start earning more isn't it? Well, it's not. Now is the time to build a savings habit, otherwise you might not be able to do so when you start earning more. Even if you're only going to be putting away a tiny amount each month, you'd be surprised how much money you'll eventually make for yourself. Ella Seren, a writer and editor, advises, put away $20 a week. Pay yourself with every paycheck. Keep a jar of change on your desk. Give yourself a dollar every time you work out. Whatever it is, it's better to get a handle on your money now rather than sing all summer, grasshopper. Number 5. Take care of your body Paying attention to your body and health when you are older, say in your 30s or 40s, is more like trying to redirect a ship. Compare that to redirecting a motorcycle. 
I'm pretty sure you can tell which is going to be harder. The ship, of course. You see, it's much easier to get in the habit before you've done much damage to yourself physically or developed long-standing bad habits. According to Bill Welsh, a radio and television presenter, minimally 30 to 40 minutes of aerobics five to six times a week and some weight training alternative days. Your body will thank you forever. Jim Rohn, an American entrepreneur, once said, take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. 6. Start building your career A good time to start paying attention to your career, learning as much as you need about your field, pushing yourself to do the hard work necessary to gain the much-needed experience required for success with excellence, etc., is now. Find out what you want to do. Find out the path you want to tread and start taking it one step at a time. Here's the thing, it takes time to build a career. You won't get everything right immediately. You'll make some mistakes that you'll learn from and eventually become better because of it. The earlier you experience these things, the better it is for you as far as your career success is. So start now. 7. Forgive yourself if you didn't start early enough and start now. Finally, if you haven't started any of these, this now is no way suggesting that you beat yourself up. Instead, forgive yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Start now and dedicate yourself to being better and growing because you'll be glad you did instead of looking back someday and wishing you had taken a different turn. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.